Hey, welcome to the CGS Biblecast. Um, yeah, so today we're talking about a catch-22, and if you don't know what that means, uh, it's like when you're faced against two, you have two, like, options, uh, and they both lead to the same, the same problem. So it's like, I can go this way, I can go that way, but either way, it's not going to be good in the end, or it's going to lead me to the same place either way. So, uh, Moses and is leading the people out of out of Egypt, and they are being chased by the Egyptians because they have a change of heart, and they're faced with a catch twenty two. Catch twenty two is one of the most used phrases in the English English language, and so uh, that's what they that's what they are facing. Catch twenty two. So when we're needing to when we need experience in a job, but we we can't gain experience without the job. What do we do? When we must choose between buying gas to go to work or groceries to feed our kid, what do we do? Life is full of catch 22s. And that's exactly what's happening to people here. This is Exodus chapter 14, verse uh, 13 through 16. It says, But Moses told the people, Don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians will see you today. I'm sorry, the Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. So they are facing this catch-22. There's there's bad stuff behind them. There's, there's the Red Seas in front of them. Like, they have no, they have no good options here. Uh, uh, God led them into the, the desert to die. Had, had, they would have to choose between drowning and, and dying by the sword, it was a, it was a bad choice. Like none, none of it was really good. And this, what we just read, is their response. We get to see how they respond. Moses is a good leader. He's a wise man, and he knows what his faith produces. And so they look to Moses for, for the answer, because he's always provided answers before. And though he didn't know how, he knew that God would come through. So assuring them God would be, would do in the fighting, he gave two commands. First, stand firm and be still. As all hope of freedom seemed lost, God told Moses to part the waters and move on. So over two million people crossed the sea on dry ground before God sent the mighty waters crashing down on the army behind them. God turned the dead end into an open door. When nothing makes sense... And you feel feel trapped in your life with no foreseeable way out. Stand firm and be still. This is great advice for Moses when you're in trouble. Stand firm and be still. There are no catch-22s in God's economy. Don't get caught up in your own understanding, but be a Moses and trust the Lord. You may not know how, but you will but you will know God's will provide a path for you to move forward through the waters of life. It gets tough sometimes, and sometimes you don't know how you're going to escape, but be strong, stand firm, be still, trust the Lord. Like I say, almost every single one of these episodes, trust the Lord, and, and you're going you're gonna to be all right. He will care for you. He will carry you out of the desert. He will take you through the sea on dry ground, and the enemies won't know what hit him on the way out. Be blessed. Uh, Whatever you're facing today, don't worry. Stand firm, stand still, and let God take over. Be blessed. Mm